The Karendake 849 ballpoint pen is a classic design that catches nearly everyone's eye. It's prevalent enough to be seen on Amazon, but still difficult to discover unless you happen to be in the right circles with the right browsing and shopping habits for a recommendation to pop up. Once you see one, it's easy to see why they're popular due to the unique barrel shape and vibrant color option. Plus, they're not terribly expensive in terms of premium ballpoint pens. The 849 I have the pleasure of using today is a custom color provided by Colt Pens. The dark blue on the pen matches their online branding, but it also happens to look particularly handsome on this hexagonal body. Aside from the color, you won't find any other differences on the pen itself to distinguish itself from the regular lineup of color options, but it does come in a nice case that features a hinge and small magnets that keep it shut. It's satisfying to open and close and I just couldn't bring myself to throw it out even though I have a pretty ruthless rule of always throwing out or recycling packaging. The case is the only object that has any branding on it, with a prominent Colt Pens logo on the top side of the tin. For the uninitiated, the 849 is a fantastic ballpoint pen, and it also comes in a variety of other formats as well, including mechanical pencil and fountain pen. Across the lineup, the design language is identical. They all feature the sleek hexagonal body with a smooth tapered cone. The body is uniform in color and is one solid piece, so the only accents come from the recognizable clip and the knot. In most models, these are a shiny chrome color, but you will see some slight variants like a completely black version in some models. There is some small branding on the body of the pen, a small SWYSS made stamp between the top of the clip and the knot, and a small 849 Karen Dake logo underneath the clip arm. It's easy to miss if you aren't paying attention and I've always enjoyed the minimal branding on this lineup of writing instruments. So, if the body is one piece, how does one access the refill? Great question. To swap out the refill, you unscrew the knock. The entire retractable mechanism assembly comes out, and then you can just tilt the pen forward to drop out the refill. Thankfully, the spring inside the body stays in place when gravity would otherwise pull it out of the pen, undoubtedly getting lost on the floor. To reinstall the refill, just drop it into the body, Put the retractable assembly back in place, push the knock down, and twist slightly to let the threads gain a hold, and then screw it back down until it's tight. It's definitely a unique method for switching refills, but I love it if it means the pen body is one piece. Speaking of the refill, Karen Dake uses their own proprietary refill for these pens of Karen Dake Goliath. It's roughly the same size as a standard Parker style refill, but it uses a proprietary ink formula. The ink is actually really good, and it's come to be one of my favorites. It always has a little trouble with cold starts after being stored for more than a day. But once it starts writing after a couple of squiggle lines, it's smooth, dark, and consistent. It's one of those dependable refills that never lets you down, and I love it for that. You can swap in a standard Parker-style refill in this pen even though the refills aren't the same length. The Parker ballpoint tip protrudes an extra millimeter or two in this pen, but you could either ignore it or trim it down fairly easily. This is an easy way to use different types and colors of inks in this pen since Karen Dake only offers fine, medium, and bold styles of black, blue, red, and green ink in their Goliath line. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.